Hello everyone. In this episode, I'd like to show you how to enlarge or shrink one pattern piece or several pattern pieces in Marvelous Designer. That's possible in two different ways. And this was actually a question for my friend Dreamlab. Thank you so much for your support over the years. I was uh, I typed this out on Discord, but it was actually a little bit easier to show you this um, on the screen because there's a couple of ways you can do this. So in, in Dreamlab's version, he made a dress and the particular part was how to change the length of the circle dress so usually that is that looks a little bit like this so i can i'm going to go and create a circle with the ellipse tool here and i'll say i make that let's say 80 centimeters in total that's that's our pattern and in it, we usually also have a cutout for where the person goes through. So I can also create that with the internal line tool here, the internal ellipse tool, that's the one. And I'll go and place that somewhere in the middle, like here. And then I'll say, I don't know, I'm just gonna make it up. This is now maybe a 20 centimeter hole in there. Just so that we have pretty much the same thing going. I'm gonna select that pattern. And since it's an internal line, I can convert that into a hole. So that we have a hole in there. So let's say this is my pattern piece and I wanted to make this whole thing larger or smaller. You select the pattern transform tool. That's this thing here at the top. That's also available with the A tool. So just press A to, uh, to select that and select the whole thing. Then you can go and a little box comes up here and then you can literally go and drag one of these edges, left clicking and dragging, and that makes the whole thing bigger. Now, there's really no exact value to that. I'm going to go and undo that. If I do this, it's it happens overall. It happens to both lines. It happens to the outside line and the inside line. But we're not entirely sure how much bigger or smaller this thing actually gets. So it'll be very difficult to be accurate about that. It also doesn't really happen from the middle there. So I'll show you how to solve both these things. So if I go and just undo this with Control Z, there is a way that I can enlarge this whole thing from the middle, and that is by double clicking on this point here. When you hover over that, it says double click to activate the pivot. And if I do that, all pivot points or all points here turn orange. And now when I do the same thing with uh, left click and drag, the thing now goes and expands from the middle. And that's quite nice. So the pivot point can also be set into different positions if you ever needed to expand or shrink your garment to or from a different position. I'll go and undo that. But the pivot point is still selected. If I double click it and it's orange and I left click and drag it somewhere else, I can now go, I can even drag it outside the pattern like to here. Now if, go, if I go and left click and uh, drag my pattern, it goes and looks at that pivot point. So that is also what you can do but it's not accurate. So I'm going to undo that as well. And I'll just go and click to reset the pattern point here, the, the pivot point. I'm just going to go click off the pattern and reselect it. And that will now make, first of all, make the pivot point unselected. And it's also, you know, not, not really there anymore. So there is another trick that I'm going to just go double click that because I do like the idea that it gets scaled from the middle. There's another trick to make this scale absolutely accurately or rather accurately with a way that we can put numbers in. And that is by, there's two ways of doing this. It's a little bit, it's a little bit convoluted. So you can left click and drag again. And while you do that, so you hold the left mouse button down while you drag, now also press the right mouse button. And then a dialog box comes up that lets you specify a width and height, either in percentage or in uh, centimeter, millimeter measurement values here. So you can do that, but I'll, I'll do this again. So left click and drag while you do that, right click. It's it's not, it, if you do it a couple of times, it becomes actually intuitive. So uh, yeah, that lets you hack in exact values. So if you wanted to expand this thing by 10%, you type in 110. That's the 100 that you had, plus 10 on top of that. So this is now exactly 10% larger than it was before that. If this left clicking and right clicking and dragging together is difficult, I, I totally agree. It is a little bit. It takes a little bit of getting used to. I had a version of Marvelous Designer once in which that feature wasn't working. So you can also left click and drag with or without the middle pivot point selected. By the way, I like selecting it because it's kind of it's kind of nice to do that. So left click and drag, and instead of right clicking, you can also press F1. That will do the same thing, just in case you run into issues there. So that is how you can do that accurately. But so if I say 120, that's now 120% larger. But notice that both the outside and the inside 
has been expanded. So the whole pattern has been expanded. And that might not always be what you want. So like in DreamLab's case, he only really would to, wanted to make the length of the skirt uh, longer or shorter. But obviously the fit on the inside was already working quite well for the figure. So you don't really want uh, the inside pattern to change. So there's also a way to do that. And we need to do that with a different tool. And that is up here in this thing. It is called the transform point segment tool. And that lets us select the pieces that we, the, the actual lines that we'd like to enlarge. So in my case, that's the outside lines here. With shift, I can select multiple. They're lit, it's a little bit like the Z tool or the, the line tool, but this one is, is slightly more involved because it also now, once I've selected all my lines, it also has that pivot point that I can double click if I wanted to. And now I can go and only notice, make the outside bigger or smaller while the inside or the unselected pieces remain unchanged. So this is how you can make just a few changes or the changes to a select group of lines. And once again, if you wanted to make it accurate, you can either press F1 or right click on top of that, and then it will give you that same dialog box again. There we go. So this is either with the pattern tool, you make the whole thing bigger or smaller. That's the A tool, that's shortcut A. The other one is the transform point segment tool. That doesn't really have a shortcut. You have to assign that manually if you use it more often. And that is the one that lets you select individual lines that you want to maybe expand or, you know, shrink like that. So you can also, you know, if you don't select all of them, that, that's the thing that's going to happen. Anyway, that is how that works. I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions, then please let me know down below in the comments. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.